Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream this video is going to be about the most popular and most stable android 12l custom rom which is nameless eosp for the oneplus 9 and 9 pro so without wasting any more time let's get started as you can see i have installed nameless eosp and if we go into the about info section you can see that the android version is 12l and the android security patch is 5th july 2022 also in this video i'm not going to show you how you can install this rom comment down if you want me to make an installation video of nameless eosp on oneplus 9 and 9 pro from the first look the rom looks super snappy and responsive and you see how fast it is i have not faced any lags or jitters or frame drops on this rom coming to the launcher you have the options to choose between pixel launcher nameless launcher and launcher as you can see i am using launcher as my default launcher this is one of the special things about this rom as it gives you the flexibility to choose your favorite launcher basic functionality on this rom works fine wifi bluetooth nfc volt and calling services work as they should the fingerprint sensor and face unlock also work without any issues but they are a little slow as compared to oxygen os 11 or android 11 roms also the fingerprint unlock and face unlock can be used for unlocking apps which is a great feature moving on all the android 12.1 features like material u theming new animation one handed mode privacy dashboard and all the pixel specific features work just fine Honestly, huge thanks to the developer for working this hard and pushing so many updates. Talking about the camera, you don't get the support of Oxygen OS camera and gallery app on OnePlus 9 series custom ROM as you get on 8 series. So you just get basic AOSP camera and you'll have to install GCam for a proper functioning camera. I have installed GCam LMC version 8.4 with Archaid XML. Comment down if you want to see a GCam installation video. Safety net passes on this ROM out of the box and all the banking and payment apps work just fine. The wide wide security level is L1 so you will be able to stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites if you talk about BGMI on this rom yes this rom does support full 90 fps in BGMI you can see that the fps meter here shows 90 fps the gaming performance has been super smooth without any lags and frame drops as such comment down if you want a full gaming review on this rom talking about the battery battery backup is also good and there is no considerate drain as such on average i am getting 6 hours of screen on time coming to the customizations this rom has a lot of them but they are mostly scattered under different menu if we go into the app section you get game settings which is gaming mode or gaming dashboard and at the bottom you also have the option to select default launcher followed by unlimited google photo storage moving on to notifications you get heads up notifications and in call vibration options with a blinking flashlight for incoming calls next up under battery you can select the battery icon styles and battery text options under sound you get options like volume steps and volume dialog set things and if you head over to display you get the option to set a custom career label you can choose between the minimum and maximum refresh rate then you get options like pocket detection and prevent accidental wake up you also have the lock screen settings to customize the lock screen and always on display then we have some quick settings options good thing that you can even change the quick tiles layout if you don't like the one you get in android 12 moving on you also have some status bar settings like brightness control color icons clock and date settings followed by double tap gesture at the bottom you get monet settings to change the accent colors you also get font settings to change the font and at the last you can also select the icon packs for status bar icons and finally inside oneplus settings you get options like alert slider auto high brightness mode ambient display gestures fps overlay 5g mode switcher system vibrator strength and wireless charger quiet mode all in all the rom does provide a decent number of customization options with a lot of stability so is this rom worth installing kind of yes nameless AOSP is one of the best if not the best Android 12 ROM for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. The best part about this ROM is the stability that it provides. But the only problem with OnePlus 9 ROMs is that you don't get Oxygen OS camera and gallery app. So you will have to do with GCam only. And honestly, Oxygen OS camera is a lot to miss out on. So if you can manage without Oxygen OS camera, you should definitely try this ROM. Comment down if you want me to make a video on how to install this ROM on OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Also, I make a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying another Android 12 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos. Thank you for watching.